welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Divinity Original Sin 2. So we've re-arrived here in Forjoy. We're going to go talk to Gareth in a little bit, but I think this video is going to be mostly devoted to at least killing Griff and his friends. I don't know if we're going to kill all the storekeepers. We're going to be fine for money in this game and I don't think that they're going to give a large amount of experience, but we're going to kill Griff and all of his little cronies because they're worth ah, killing. You're back. Oh, it's so good to see you, mate. You look... You know who you look like? The moon. <laughs> I bet you hear that all the time, don't you? No, I really don't. I pull out the sparkler card and say I got it from a dying man. I reckon it belongs to you. He turns the card over and holds it up to the light, smirking. Got your hands on my sparkler, did you? Well, put it to good use. The louses I have at the card table could use a good shake-up. They're all dead. You forget my name, yeah? Got it. Goodbye, Griff. We're gonna kill all of his little friends. They're only level three. Is Hilda in on this fight? Hilda is apparently in on this fight as well. I didn't necessarily expect her to join the common scum, but if she wants to die, so be it. We're not going to kill every storekeeper. Some of them are good people. This guy is not a good people. Uh, we don't have line of sight, do we? All right. Just get up as far as you can. Need someone up there. Griff is invisible, that's annoying. He'll be uninvisible soon enough, though. Did he just eat something? He put my totem to sleep, what a jerk. Whatever, we're gonna get another totem up. Now there is Nusi over here, which is a silly name, but Sorry, Nusi. Really, you didn't think that this was going to happen to you, but you should have known that bad things happen when you join crews of people that are scamming their fellow people and being kind of dicks to everyone. Goodbye, Nusi. We're near oh yeah, we are getting experience. 500 experience. It's actually still quite a lot for a level 3 person. Should we kill the remainder of the camp? It is worth some experience. It's really a hard call, though. Hi, Griff. Did you think you could hide in there? You didn't move, and I saw you shoot chloroform out of that spot. It's not like it was a difficult... ...thing to figure out. Missed. Well, okay. Griff is nearly dead. One AP to the top of the ramp. Then we charge nowhere because we're still not quite in line of sight. It's gonna take him a bit to get up there. So we have his enemies. Someone. Where did Waltz come from? Put Griff down for a thousand experience. Shoot her. Let's head up here. Help finish off these guys, even though I don't think we're they're gonna need all that much help. Don't drink potions, you're wasting my money. Stop drinking the potions! I'm very annoyed at you now. I 
That's the end of combat. Alright, we probably- I'm gonna use fame to loot, because otherwise we're just gonna be over encumbered again, because there's gonna be a bunch of loot. When you kill storekeepers, it's usually pretty good in terms of stuff. You get a ton of junk. And we killed two storekeepers, at least here. It was worth some experience, too. A couple thousand experience. Now, being as we need 72,000 to level, I don't think it was a statistically insignificant amount. Which makes me wonder if I should murder the rest of this camp. How evil do we want to be? Losa is part demon, and we also get skill books, which is kind of nice, too. She had Hilder's Plate, which is which would have been good four levels ago. But a bunch of red scrolls is nice, by the way. We could kill the rest of the storekeepers. Okay, I don't want the rest of that. Alright, let's get a little bit evil here. I kind of want the experience. It's not like it's going to be tough. Come back here. Stop moving and take your hit in peace. There we go. Who are we fighting exactly? Laszlor. Mira. Whoever's up here that's mad at us. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get incarnate out here to fight Laszlor. I'm kind of sad about Laszlor, to be fair, but... Such is life. He decided to join up with this lizard as our enemy. I mean, that dude knifes a lizard in the middle of the street. No one cares. I knife a lizard in the middle of the street. Everyone gets really mad. I think that's a bit hypocritical. Sorry, Laszlo, this is going to hurt you more than it hurts me. By a lot. Um, can we hit anyone else? No, but we'll move up. He is a hydro person. I guess we can just put our incarnate there to beat him to death. And then we'll throw another totem into the street somewhere. Just shoot it whatever it comes close. Goodbye, Lazlor. Or not Lazlor. Lizard person. Alright, quick combat. What do we get for loot? Bunch of sk er, skill books, which is pretty much exactly what we wanted. Lazlor, I'm sorry about your life, but I also... I'm not that sorry. I mean, you did give me your loot, and I did love your loot, but then I broke it, so. Such is life, I guess. Pick your potion bottles. We don't need to kill the grieving mother, because that's just sad. Um, We're not going to kill the elves. They're kind of important to storyline stuff. We'll kill Nabora, though. She has a bunch of money. And summoning skills. Hi! Who's joining her in this little mission? Maybe nobody. One person is. Dominic. Let's wait for Dominic to close with us and we'll just kill him. Dominic has restoration? He's also only level 2. Sorry, Dominic, this isn't your day. Alright, so we really just wanted the corpse of Nevora, or Nebora, whatever her name is. Spear of Brachus Rex, bunch of red scrolls, rallying cry, a couple gold cups, which we'll sell, a couple wooden figurines, that are worth your for a couple figurines that are worth a fortune. We also can steal all of the nails and other junk that are here, but most of it literally is junk. So we'll grab some of it. Stuff that's worth money, metal scraps. Are worth a bit. Nebra's boots. Maybe? No, they're not really worth it. I 
And that's it. Alright. That's enough killing. We killed some people. Excuse me, sorry. Could not stop that sneeze. I tried desperately. I stopped the first one, but there's a second. It snuck out. Let's go find Gareth. We're not going to be too evil in this game. Just Welcome, a little bit. Friend. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts. I know you seek answers. I'll tell you what I can. What brought Gareth to Fort Joy? It's not exactly a welcoming place. God woke Gareth paused. My friend, oh, the wait, Woken, hang on. Only a God Woken. Is there work? You have spoken. Gareth stares intently. Oops. Not so much at you as through. I tell Gareth about my visit to the Hall of Echoes, taking care not to reveal too much about my true nature. He asks if I've spoken to a God, and then he stares intently. Intently. Yes, I see something there. And something else besides. But it's not for me to say. I must get you to Malady. She will know. She was imprisoned on the Lady Vengeance. One of the few of us not left to rot on the sand and sun. All the more vital we take the ship from the Magisters. Godwoken. Okay. Very well, but... I need to what talk to him for the person. I managed to find a wand that will see the Shriekers dead. I had no doubt. You bring me hope, Sorcerer. I'll gather the other Seekers and travel to shore. Meet us there as soon as you can. Gareth's voice echoes throughout the Enclave with such command it could rouse a fawn to action. We move, Seekers. Now is the time to resist. The Lady Vengeance will be ours! We got 5,600 experience, which is about 10 storekeepers worth of experience, depending on their level. And now we make our way all the way up to the Seeker Camp, which is where we didn't go before. I always get so lost on my way there, though. Yeah, it's up here somewhere. Oh, there's the Magister dude. There's the Seeker Camp. It's a bit of a walk. We will just... Casually wait for our people to show up, and I will quickly check my book of notes to see if we missed anything of value because I wrote notes on all the things I could remember that we needed to do in Act 1. Let me take a quick peek. Alright. <clears throat> Gather the bracket set. Yes. Kill the Void Woken leader. Yes. Do that's the next thing we're doing. Free the dragon. Do the gargoyle maze. Okay, yeah. So we've done everything except for the final fight. Hooray! This act is going really well. Check marked on everything. There's so many different branching paths and stuff in this game that you kind of have to write it down to make sure you don't miss something or forget something. I probably have forgotten things though, in all fairness. Also, it takes eight years to travel here. Oh, we made it. There's a tortured man. We're not gonna Such talk to them. What happened here? An old elf's pained gaze passes between the crucified. Anger bubbles within him. He seems on the brink of tears of rage. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Did you know the people on these crosses? They're as good as my family. But I cannot heal them. I cannot heal them. So much pain. Why don't you help them down? They are changed. That Dallas woman did something to their minds. They won't be moved and they can't be healed. They resisted at all costs. They can't even be healed. Using such magic on them would kill them now. Such beautiful souls. Corrupted by such evil. You must do the right thing then. You must help them die. I can't. These people are so beloved. Stay away from Shriekers if you want to live. I know not how much longer my friends here have. Can we talk to them? The seeker gazes upward, right at the sun. She mumbles rapidly to herself. Oh, Lucy, you know, divine smile upon your servant. May the whole of Echoes embrace your mother. Oh, Lucy, you know, divine smile upon your servant. May the whole of Echoes. What are you saying? I can't understand. She slowly, reluctantly looks down to you. What? You see, it speaks within me. I am his mother. You're insane. You thought you'd already seen the full depths of Magister cruelty. It would be a mercy to kill these Seekers now. There's no saving them. A quick death would be a blessing to these unfortunates. We're on the same page, Fane. Good. 
smoke, blood, and carnage. We'll find them. The Magisters we'll didn't spare It doesn't feel quite season. right, but I need all the equipment I can find. You would attack the Magisters directly. Are you so eager to die, Seeker? You cannot stand against the truth. Not without stronger weapons than these. We'll find them, or we'll find another way. Alright, I think we are ready to do the attack. There's not a whole lot here in terms of loot. I think there is one thing to dig up over here though, if I'm not mistaken. You would attack the Magisters directly. Or maybe not. Whatever it is, you it cannot looks dangerous. Stand against I thought there was something to dig here, but not without stronger weapons. I guess I was mistaken. Maybe it's up there. But first let's go see this. Chest. Nothing. Alright. Anything in that tent? Nope. There's a chest there, though. Right there. Well-worn chest. A note with the Divine Order seal. And poison, apparently. If we go up here, too... I think there might be something up here. Look up at the very top of this hill, there's some stools. Maybe it's just a nice viewing point. It actually is kind of pretty up here. There's a billion... Oh, I know what's up here. Never mind. I forgot about this little thing. Ignoring the traps and just letting them go. Hi. So you're a spy. Oh, shite. I figured it was only a matter of time. I, I'm ready to pay the price. What are you doing here? That's not for me to say. If you must kill me, then kill me. My power is greater than that of Alexander and Dallas combined. I do not fear them. They should fear me. I, I, I really can't tell you more. I owe Alexander everything. I don't question him. I'm no warrior. I... My mission has only ever been to watch and share what I see. I give information to Alexander. He doesn't give information to me. What information have you passed on to your superiors? Everything. Their feeble attack strategy, their plans for the Lady Vengeance. Gareth, the Seekers. They can't escape Alexander's wrath. They are wholly unprepared. Alexander will see that source users get what they deserve. Dallas makes them silent, obedient. And if they're truly lucky, they become even more. What do you mean by more? Living weapons. Fearsome creatures. Dallas calls them Shriekers. The Seekers have no hope of overcoming them. I have to kill you, I'm sorry. If I must die, then I die with a clear conscience. I serve only the Divine and his son. Not for long. Soon you'll be serving... Worms? Because you're going to be a corpse. Almost dead. Really almost dead. I can't get in range to hit him. So. I guess we do that. And that. A letter. We really have to read all these things later, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to get this final fight underway. This is a long fight, so this video might run a little bit longer than a normal one. Just because there's actually not really two separate fights, but sort of two separate fights. What's this? I found something. That's where the diggy thing was. I knew there was a diggy thing in this camp, and I couldn't remember where it was, and it was bugging me. It's right here. Found the supplies. The Magisters aren't as thorough as I presumed. That's a nifty looking mace. Let's take a look at what it does. It does? It's a level 7 mace, so it's pretty good. Strength, cleave, critical. I'm gonna give it to Fane. Fane's mace gives strength and cleave. No dodging, but I think it's better than our sword. Alright. 
We should probably put Do we have any runes currently? We must have some runes by this point of the game. We do. Do we have any good runes? Oh, we have some small masterwork runes. They're okay. But they add physical damage. And we do have... So, I'm going to do runes really quickly. Runes are these little slots in some of our items. You see, they're, they're denoted by these little circles. Uh, and they allow you to add things in. You can extract them and put them in at will, so it doesn't really matter. Oops, I just took it out by accident. Oh, there. That was a good example. You can extract it. No harm, no foul. Um, so, yeah. You wanted to do your gear? No big deal. Each of them does a different thing based on what slot you put them in. So, for example, this one gives fire resistance to armor, this one gives water resistance to armor, physical armor, increase air and poison resistance. We're also going to do this one to give that. Amulets are a bit different, so crit chance, movement, magic armor, dodging, accuracy. We'll go with the crit chance on that one. Does Fane have any slots? Yes, one. So we're going to give him one of those as well. It just increases their damage by a little bit. You do have to remember to take them out though before you sell them, because if you sell them with their runes in, the runes will go with the weapon. Just as a heads up. Now let's go to Gareth. You've come. Lucian be praised. Gareth glances over his shoulder, and his voice tightens. The Shriekers keep watch, and their gaze isn't the only one we should avoid. The murderer is here, Alexander. I have a helmet that will purge the Shriekers, I'm ready. If I didn't know better, I'd think the gods themselves were your counsel. The helm of Bracchus. What evils has this thing witnessed? It remains so powerful. No, this thing was birthed from a wicked era. What would Lucian say, seeing me confront one evil with another? Go, take down those Shriekers. Also, if we go in... I see flurries and the air thrums. Could it be slain? Slain also could destroy Shriekers. And he did so. Praise be! You have silenced the Shriekers and cleared our way. Yet it seems I'm in need of you again, my friend. Do you have any more miracles in you? My strength only grows. I crave battle. We've got a boat ready to row to the Lady Vengeance. But if Alexander sees us bobbing among the waves, we'll be shark chow. So we split up. I take the Seekers to the Lady Vengeance. You go to the ruins and keep Alexander busy. He'll be expecting a breeze. Show him that you're a hurricane. Are you ready? We've got right on our side. A greater ally than any sulking geist or any whinging magister. Ready for battle. He takes the news calmly. A moment passes as he calculates the consequences, assessing this new world as it opens up before him. He nods his thanks, then raises his voice. Seekers, we move. You are Lucian's eyes and ears. You are his sword and his shield. Burn the blackness with your holy fire. All right. Let me loot the Shrieker dead bodies first. I don't think they have anything on them. I think Shriekers are generally kept completely free of equipment, but you never know. Anything around? Any treasures? No? Uh, so there's two ways you can go about getting to this fight. You can go over here start up on that platform, or you can come in through the main door. I prefer the main door entrance on this one, personally. We're going to also come down to the beach really quickly and loot the crates, because why not? The reason is, there is a... Well, you'll see. I can't really tell you without spoiling the next really cool fight, so we're not going to tell you at all. There's a reason to go in the main door. There is cursed blood everywhere. That's fine though, no big deal. Or do we want to go up that way? No, I think we'll go in the main door. Stay ready. If any seekers survive, we'll have to deal with them. A pity they didn't just listen. All this could have been averted. There you are, the SKP. 
I feared you'd made it to Reaper's Coast by now. Anyway, you're here now. You know, Dallas and Vredeman warned me about you, God Woken. I'm afraid your journey ends here. You would only bring ruin to Rivalon. If anyone is going to become the next divine, it will be me. I laugh in Alexander's face. You really believe all this hogwash you spout? Do you think I enjoy this work? Taking people away from their families? Fitting them with these collars? I abhor it. But I bear it. I can bear anything for the sake of the realm. It was the most important lesson my father taught me. Be strong. Not because you are. Be strong because you must. For them. For the realm. For your loved ones. For the children you'll never have. Please, don't make this harder than it has to be. It's not your fault, but still you stand in the way of peace. This must be the end of your journey. For the salvation of all Rivalon. Go on, I love cutting down a condescending man where he stands. The more insufferable, the better. <sighs> you stand no chance, but I admire your resilience. Give it your best shot. Alright, so Fane is going to be up second, which should be just... This has got a lot of magic armor. <laughs> Anyways, we need to move back. Basically is where we're at, as far as possible. So four movement points, puts her here, we'll summon our... Incarnate as well. Alexander does get to go before Fane, but I don't think he'll stop Fane from moving. He usually does buffs and stuff like that. As proof. Four turns to where? Here? Okay. Four moves to there, and we'll summon another incarnate. Next turn, we'll actually get them all buffed up. But for now, we just need to get them into existence. I think technically they're out of combat at the moment. Which means if they come up the stairs and put them in combat, they might actually get a turn at the end of the turn, which is kind of neat. Geist coming up the stairs, it's kind of slow. Oh, They're not in combat, so they're decaying over time. That's okay, you know what? It's only like five turns till they come back. That's annoying, though. Kind of really annoying, actually. Hmm. Oh, well. It's not going to be super important. It is going to suck, though. Let's move back another couple. R1 might be in combat. It is. At least we kept one of them. He's gonna chameleon cloak. These things hit like freight train still. Geists are still kinda nasty. At least Dallas isn't here. around somewhere. I could hear it. It's right here somewhere, I think. Yep, there it is. Let's heal up our little guy, and we can't really hit him. He's actually further away than we are, which is interesting. Alright. More totems. Totems are good. We have another few turns so we can actually get our character up and running, but we can encourage. Should have done that before. We missed with our totem. Never a good sign. No, my totem, you jerk. But that's what we were always waiting for. 
the void woken drill worm. Die, all of you. Do you see now? Your foul sorcery the death of us all. Shut up and fight. This creature won't discriminate between you. Our incarnate's almost gone. Already. We can knock this dude down, which might be a good idea. Or no, we can't. Luckily, the enemy does fight its or each other. Which is good, because they hit really hard. Both the drill worm and the enemies hit hard. We'll definitely soak up some of the vicious hits that we would otherwise have taken. That just is really going. Actually, I'm kind of worried about the drill worm won't hit them enough. Drill worms first. This is cursed electrical blood, so it's actually not going to be like good for us. We're three turns away from getting our incarnate out again, which is nice. And we're kind of stuck, so we really don't want to go through cursed fire. We could go all the way around, but that's also kind of a pain. We could just wait this one out, really. This doesn't stopping us from just enjoying a well-earned break on the periphery of the fight. I think we're gonna start getting some cursed electrical totems, unfortunate earth and electrical totems. Because we really can't do much else at the moment. It's not a whole lot of non-electrified blood left. These metamorphs, not that tough. Blaze skin's a great ability though, I might add. Also, geists hit like freight trains. They really do. They're brutal. Can you shoot the geist? Why? I think the thing is going to die really soon, and we're going to be stuck fighting the bulk of the army, which is not what I was hoping for, but eh, it'll be fine. The drill worm is dying, though. There's no doubt about that. Two turns until we can get more incarnates. The geist would probably kill it this turn. The geist is officially dead, and now we go back to our fight with Alexander and friends. That Geist is going to come ruin our day in a second. Although, he has a lot to get through. There's a lot of fire and stuff in the way. Our Incarnates are almost back up. One more turn. Let's just keep toteming up. And waiting, I guess. Where's it going? Why would you do that? No, our totem. I'll replace it with another one. I'm ready. This one's back to blood totems because electricity wore out. I like how those guys can't get up here for some reason. Now, is this guy going to charge through the fire? He is, kind of. 
No! Wait. They're immune to shocked. Why does that matter? But now they're back to being electrical totems again, which is not what I was hoping for. That's got a great evasion, though. Like, I'm very impressed with this ability to never take a hit. We have our incarnates back, though. That's what we we're hoping for. Now that they're actually here and not stuck outside of combat and decaying, because they only last for 10 turns or so. all electrical, isn't it? Yes. So we're going to summon our new guy. Can I summon no blood? Please be blood. Please don't be fire. Actually, fire wouldn't be the worst scenario. I can move this guy. Oh, that was bad. That was really dumb of me. I forgot Bane didn't have any magic armor left, and now he's stunned for one turn. Oh, because it's cursed blood, I see. That makes sense. That guy needs to die right away, but that backlash is going to hit really hard. Okay. Magister Knight's bleeding out. We need to kill the Geist, which shouldn't be too hard of a problem, I don't think. It's out of... Physical armor, so we can knock both of those down with ease. Where did you nether swap Bane to? Where is he? I'm so confused as to what just happened there. Anyways, let's knock that guy down. Kill him. The fire's gone, finally, so now I can see what's going on a little bit better. The Geist is still here. Everything is electric, so... Magic armor is going to be the thing we're going to be hitting, basically, for a while. Oh, Fane's over there. Oh, Fane's stunned again because he got put in the electricity, which now wore off. It's annoying. Geist is dead. Now there's cursed blood everywhere. Is that art? Oh, that is the same incarnate. Let's give it some buffs. We can heal it up by using more infusions. Bane is sort of on his own. He's almost out of physical armor. He's running away. I need to teleport him, but Bane can't do anything this turn. So it's up to my other people. I don't like if you reapply your infusions, how your skills go away. That's just weird. Really don't like that. He's almost dead. There were mistakes made in this fight, but it turned out okay in the end. Stop nether swapping my things.
Knock him down. Maybe shields up on Nefane, so he can maybe not... Well, that barely did anything, so... Not sure if that was worth it. 12 hit points remaining. Then we just have two guys left to kill. Alrighty, so four turns out into the middle of the courtyard. Might as well. We need to get out here and fight these guys. I don't know why they didn't come down the ladder. There's literally a giant ladder right here. That they could very easily have walked up. Now we have... Seven movement, so we're gonna move five there and make a totem somewhere out here to hopefully shoot one of these guys. There's only the marksman and, or sorry, markswoman and the meta thing, metamorph. This is an absolutely atrocious line of sight for any sort of totems, but we'll put it there. I definitely did do that. This is gonna hurt. Or, it's not gonna hurt because she targeted the ground. Okay. Well, I'm gonna teleport one of these guys down, but I can't because they're not in range. I'm gonna teleport that Magister right to here. And fight the... Incarnate, although it's gonna run away, probably. Oh, you jerk. So much for that. Ooh, Bane is hurt. Should probably keep him out of combat, actually. He might actually die. Half of our totems are worthless at this particular second. And now I can't do anything. Ugh. Up we go. Bane's gonna run back, because he's gonna die in like 10 seconds. If he doesn't... We need to get up here. It's five turns to get up there. And... Alright, we're up here. Poison totem's not exactly what I was hoping for, but whatever. If I re-reapply... Or, say, do I get my skills back? I can't see. No, we lied to sight our person. You colossal jerk. Alright, we're gonna move Fane somewhere else so he doesn't die. But first... He'll be fine for a sec. We're gonna use Time Stop. Time Warped. All right, now go hide around the corner. Let your incarnate handle this. Almost dead. Didn't even kill my totem. Still didn't kill my totem. Okay, we need to... 2 AP to get up there, but it's going to be more like 3 because we're going to get slowed. Because oil. It's going to cost us 4 to get up there in total. Damn. Alright, I'm going to see if I can give our guy his, his skills back. Because they vanished off of our bar, which is annoying. Solid hit. Oh, if only you'd blown that up before I had to move my incarnate across the uh, slow area. Hey, you stay out here where you're safe. These blood totems are finally dying off. Almost done.
they do come back. Huh. Weird. One last punch for this Magister to kill him. I'm just gonna separate these two out at the end of this combat because I don't want them regrouping. Charge across the fire. All we need to do is hit that Magister Metamorph once or maybe twice. 12,600. We didn't get a level. Sad. Anyways, Fane's over here. He might as well be because we need to loot some things. We got an unidentified belt. We got a ton of stuff, including Alexander's Cloak, which is the weirdest item. So it's a plus strength retribution magical cloak that needs intelligence to wear. It's just a really bizarre item, actually. The Drill Worm also has some loot for us. Oh look, it's Melody on the thing just waiting for us. Well, Melody, you can wait because I'm looting bodies. Actually, I think I've almost gotten all the bodies. I think we forgot the Assassin's body, which is up here. Wasn't it turned into paste? There it was. Yeah, we got the Magister Knight, Magister Assassin, Bishop Alexander, Void Woken Drill Worm, got the Geist. Alright, I think that's pretty much it then. Let's go talk to Malady. We're not quite ready to leave yet, because we're going to check out our loot. And also get this chest here. Anything over here? No, I don't see anything. Anything down here? We already got those. We were proactive on our looting on that side. I don't see anything else to grab. Alright, let's talk to Malady then. Too far away. Oops, oopsies. Well, 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 quite the mess you've made here. I'm Malady, and you're... She steps forward, grabs you behind the neck with alarming strength, and pulls you close. She sniffs twice, her nose at your ear, then bites, piercing the lobe with a needle-sharp fang. She releases you and grins, running tongue over teeth. God woken. I rub my ear. Melody, was it? Are you sick or something? My mother certainly thought so. I didn't hurt you, did I? She leans back, looks you over, and smirks. So, Godwoken, you're what gets some of us out of bed each morning. What do you make of that? I'm not surprised. I'm used to being at the tip of people's tongues. Ah, of course. Too important to feel important. Very good. Well, first things first. She peers at you closely. A knowing squint in her eye. Tell me, which of those little gods did you meet? And what did they teach you? I didn't meet any god, but I did learn how to grant blessings anyways. Her eyes go wide. No god, huh? Then who? There's something dwelling inside of me, something very powerful. I spoke to it in the Hall of Echoes. She leans forward and inhales deeply through her nose, smelling the air around you. How long has it been possessing you? It's been a while, and it seems to be getting stronger. Well, shite. Listen to me, this isn't good. Whatever's inside you, it's smart and it's strong. Probably smarter and stronger than you. Ah, uh, don't make a big deal about it. This thing, whatever it is, isn't gonna get the best of me. Of course not. Nevertheless, I'll be keeping you in my sights. Luckily for me, you're rather easy on the eyes. You're not too bad yourself. No, I'm only bad when the occasion calls for it, darling. Oh she my. She slowly from helm to boot. This might be an interesting boat ride after all. Now, show me what you learned from that other soul-stealing miscreant who's taken an interest in you. I'll need source in order to cast it. Ah, uh, like that. Right, hold on then. She takes you by the shoulders and gestures for you to do the same to her. She closes her eyes, and a warm, soothing sensation runs from her hands into your body. Suddenly, you feel the familiar swell of source within you. I cast Bless on Malady. Hey, that stings. She examines her hands, where the skin sizzles slightly beneath their newfound aura. As the spell fades, the skin heals once more, 
Her whole body seems to relax. You really are Godwoken. I'm happy. Oh, how unbecoming. Come then, we set sail. Your destiny awaits, etc. It's about time. I'm ready to get out of this hellhole. Melody beckons you to the boat. After you, darling. Alright. Ask her to wait. As you wish. Let's take a look at our journal really quickly. So the only ones we haven't closed are... We did this already. I don't know why this isn't closed, technically. Oh, we didn't do Gowan's quest. That's fine, though. Alrighty. I'm just going to take a quick look to see if we can close these quests, and then we're going to leave this place. I think I've already done this. I don't know why it's not closed either, but we'll take a look anyways. Make sure we can finish these quests. If not, we're going to leave immediately. We're going to take a quick look at the items we picked up as well. Then we're going to call it a video. So, if we look here, let's take a, a quick peek on a sort of course. I don't think she picked up any of the good stuff. I think it was mostly Fane. In fact, I think it was entirely Fane. Alright, so there's a two-handed mace. It's actually really quite good. Two strength, one warfare. Bunch of damage. Probably does a ton of damage, actually. Some decent steel armor, plus one warfare. I think it's better than what he's currently using. Quite a lot, so let's do that at the very least for now. Alexander's cloak is so weird, it is really good in some ways and not good in others. I'm gonna have to ponder that one a little bit more. A ring? Oops. Oh, there we go. Plus one summoning, which is really nice. In fact, yeah, let's do that. We lose restoration, but that's fine, we don't use it very often, anyways. The Ring of Brackus, of course, is not something we're going to put on. Plus one sneaking. Eh, it's okay. And this amulet is more what I'm looking forward to seeing. Constitution Retribution Lore Master versus Constitution Air Resistance Immunity to Stun. It's a lot of magic armor, comparatively. Or better than Strength Necro? Yeah, probably. Alright. And I think that's going to be it for our video. So, we're going to end off here. We're not going to end this chapter. I'm going to go make sure that we completed all the quests. I think we did, but I'm just going to verify. And then from there, we are going to head off this island. And see what happens next. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you next time. Take care.